in this video we are going to unbox a package that is containing something really special for me so let's open this is written keep your city clean so dump your packages in dumping sites only in the dustbin that is containing papers and household waste so do not throw this anywhere else because we have to clean our city now let's see what is inside so inside there are two things and both are same only these are two scientific calculator which I have brought recently because uh, I took PCM in class 11 I went to class 11 and took PCM and I have ordered two calculators one is for my friend because he also took PCM so one is for him and one is for me only I don't know why the package looks like this let's fix this okay I will unbox any one of this uh, this one I don't know why the package looks a bit damaged so I will give this to my friend I will keep this one for myself so let's unbox this one so the model is Casio FX82 MS second edition it's the most common one which mostly PCM students use and it has got two line display these are the features it has got trigonometric functions fraction calculations logarithm and statistics also and i think it comes with 240 functions yes it comes with 240 functions and it has got three year warranty with it and this is authentication checking i will check this once but before that let's unbox this thing this thing is battery powered it does not come with any solar panel because the one which comes with solar panel is above 1000 1, rupees and i just don't want to spend that this is for warranty registration and this is the actual calculator here it is wow, it looks like a tv remote to be honest oh look at this so slick design so how to remove this cover uh, okay so this is how you can remove this cover and this is the cover that protects the calculator or keeps it like this when you don't want to use it you can slide it backwards like this why isn't it going down okay it's just up and it is already on and to off it i think you have to press shift ac why isn't it working okay i need to figure it out once okay i figured it out so let's see uh, to turn it on you just have to press the on button and it will turn on and to turn it off you have to press shift then you have to press the ac not like in computer keyboard that you press shift and ac at once it is not like that you have to press the shift first after that ac and you turn it on and let's see let's do some simple multiplications that is 8 into 596 equals 4768 i don't know whether it is true or not it has to be and as you can see in here it is written as you can see in here it is written in very very small font that is d this d shows that the computer is currently in degree mode if you are reading in class 11 or 12th you don't have to change the mode like that it can change between degree mode radian mode and gradient mode but you don't have to change unless you are an engineering student and here are many more functions so let's do something else let's do cos 90 degree equals 0 it is showing correct let's do this then sine 90 degree it has to show one yes sine 90 degree is one it is showing everything correct now let's do where is the tan now let's do tan 90 degree it has to show infinity oh math error okay so this was math error and now let's turn it off so shift plus alpha okay like other calculators this deal this delete button is used to just backspace like it can you erase from behind 
also you can use this pointer button to change the cursor to here suppose you want to change you have typed this long number and you want to change this 7 because for by mistake you have seen that in the question paper it is not 7 it is something else so you want to change the 7 so you take your cursor to 7 after that you change with the digit you want now it is done and then you again take the cursor back now you can do your operations in here like that uh, this button helps to just square any number if you want to find the 9 square then you can do and I get 81 this is the square root suppose 576 root oh sorry my mistake I have typed root first you have to type the root after that 576 then it is 24 and this is cube root for example if you search 729 then no no not like that so here is the cube root so what will the cube root do is you have to just if 7 cube then the answer will give 343 but the cube root is written in yolo and the yolo color corresponds to shift so for using the cube root function you have to just press the shift first so you have to press the shift and then and then you have to press this i think now it is in cube root mode no it is not so how to use the cube root function so you have to press the shift and now okay now the cube root you can use this cube root now you can just type 343 then the answer will come 7 so there are some stuffs that are written in yellow and there are some stuffs that are written in red along with the stuffs that are written in white so which are written on the button in white you can just directly apply this by pressing the button and which are written in yellow to apply this in your equation or in your operation you have to press the shift because shift corresponds to yellow and for the red ones like this e and then d and then x these are the red ones for red ones you have to press the alpha so these are a few functions of it i need to discover it more and to switch it off shift plus s okay. now you can turn it off and to just remove the calculator from the cover like this and then you can put it in front okay this thing seems pretty good and yeah i really like it but i don't like maths that's the problem